I'm Lance Kugler of Kugler Vision, and at our practice, we specialize in helping people see and improving people's lives by correcting their vision. And so today, we're going to talk about different types of refractive error that people have and the different solutions that we have to fix them. So today, we're going to discuss solutions that we have to correct distance vision, near vision, astigmatism, and the need for bifocals. Let's look at the important structures that allow us to focus the image that we see. The cornea is the outer layer of the eye. The lens sits inside the eye. These two structures focus the light onto the retina, which is in the back of the eye. The retina is connected to the brain by the optic nerve. The front part of the eye, consisting of the cornea and the lens, is called the anterior segment. The back of the eye, consisting of the retina, is called the posterior segment. So if we think about the eye like a camera, the front part of the eye is like the lens, and the back part of the eye is like the film. As light enters the eye, it is focused by the anterior segment onto the posterior segment. Let's see what this looks like in a normal eye. In a normal eye that can see without glasses or contacts, the light is focused by the cornea and lens directly onto the retina. In an eye with myopia, or nearsightedness, the light is focused incorrectly. The eye is longer than it should be, and the cornea is steeper than it should be, causing light that enters the eye to be focused in front of the retina. So the light does not focus directly onto the retina, and that is what gives us a blurry image. So for a nearsighted or myopic eye, objects at a distance are blurry. In a farsighted eye, also known as hyperopia, the opposite is true. The eye is shorter than it should be, and the cornea is too flat, causing the light to focus behind the retina. As light passes through, it causes a blurry image on the retina, which causes the image to be blurry. Astigmatism is slightly more complex. In an eye with astigmatism, the light is bent in two different directions. So as the light enters the eye, half of it is focused to one point, and the other half of the light is focused to another point, which could either be in front or beyond the retina. Neither point is focused directly on the retina. So the image that we see is blurry. Now let's discuss accommodation. Accommodation is necessary for us to see up close. The lens inside our eye has the ability to change shape and focus depending on what we are looking at. When an object is farther away, the lens relaxes and focuses the light onto the retina. If, on the other hand, the object is close, for example an iPhone, the lens changes its shape accordingly and focuses the light onto the retina. As the object of interest changes its location, the lens changes accordingly so the light is always focused onto the retina. The lens changes as we age. These changes lead to the three stages of dysfunctional lens syndrome. Stage one typically occurs in our early 40s. The lens loses its ability to change focus, so the light is focused outside the retina, which leads to a blurry image. Stage two occurs between our late 40s and mid 60s. The lens becomes cloudy and blurry, and the light that enters the eye is low quality. The image that we see is blurry, and our night vision suffers. In stage three, the lens becomes cloudy and dark, and light is blocked. This is called a cataract. Now that we have an understanding of the various problems, let's talk about some of the solutions. We can fix problems with LASIK, ICL, or implantable columnar lens, and dysfunctional lens replacement, or DLR. These are just a few of the ways we can fix vision, but let's focus on these three. Let's talk about LASIK. In a nearsighted eye, the cornea is too steep, so the light is bent in front of the retina. LASIK uses a laser to change the shape of the cornea, making it less steep so that the focal point of the light moves to the retina. ICL is another way to fix nearsightedness. Let's consider a nearsighted eye again. This eye focuses the light in front of the retina. An ICL is a lens that is inserted inside the eye, behind the iris, in front of our natural lens. This lens changes the direction the light is bent 
and focuses the image onto the retina. Now let's discuss lens replacement. In an eye that requires bifocals or reading glasses in order to see, we use lens replacement or DLR. We use a laser to make a small incision here. We remove the inner part of the lens and replace it with an artificial lens that has the ability to see things that are far and also has segments that are able to see things that are near. After DLR, people are able to see both far and near with their new lens. They also will not develop a cataract because their lens has been replaced with an artificial lens. So we discussed the problems that people commonly have, which are myopia, hyperopia, astigmatism, and also their need for bifocals, which comes from a dysfunctional lens which cannot focus for them anymore. So those are the most common problems people have. But as you learned today, we covered the types of solutions that we have for those problems, and they're different for everybody. So there is not a one-size-fits-all to fix these problems. We look at every patient individually, do a comprehensive evaluation, and then we decide what is the best technology and the best approach to fix the problem and to improve the life of the patient and what they are looking for as a result.